Hey everybody, welcome back. Tuesday Manna. Again, I'm excited to get into the Word with you guys and let's see what the Lord is going to do. Alright, so let's pray. God, we want to thank you for your Word. Thank you um, for your grace and the work that you did on the cross for us. So we look forward to um, receiving your Word today. Excited that you're going to do something in our hearts today. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, um, the book of Proverbs is where we're going to be reading today. You know, there's 31 Proverbs, you know, there's 30, 31 days in a month. So, that's a good little Devo. For those of you that are maybe wanting to do something different or you're looking for a Devo, I just go to the calendar. Today's the 16th. Go to Proverbs chapter 16 and you read it, pray, and you read it, and you're going to see how God will speak to you. Um, in regards of things that are going on in your life or things that you're going to face in that day even. I've been, so, I've been so blessed many times by reading Proverbs in the morning and just meditating on it throughout the day. And then, boom, something will happen or God will confirm something from the book of Proverbs that day. It's, it's pretty amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. The plans of the heart belong to a man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. The Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of trouble. Everyone who is ignorant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Be steadfast, love and faithfulness, iniquity is atoned for. And by the fear of the Lord, one turns away from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. The heart of man plans his own ways, but the Lord establishes his steps. An oracle is on the lips of a king. His mouth does not sin in judgment. A just balance and scales are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to do evil, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are a delight to the king. He loves him who speaks what is right. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and a wise man will appease it. In the light of a king's face there is life, and his favor is like the clouds that bring spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright turns aside from evil. Whoever guards his way preserves life. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. Whoever goes, or sorry, excuse me, whoever gives thought to the word will discover good. Blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The wise of heart is called discerning, and sweetness of speech increases pervasiveness. Good sense is a fountain of life to him who has it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise makes his speech judicious and adds pervasiveness to his lips gracious words are like a honeycomb sweetness to the soul and health to the body there is a way that seems right to a man but in its end is the way of death a worker's appetite works for himself his mouth urges him on a worthless man plots evil and his speech is like a scorching fire. A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates the closest of friends. 
A man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. Whoever winks his eyes plans dishonest things. He who pursues his lips will bring evil to pass. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He who rules his spirit than he who takes a whole city. The lot is cast into the lap, but his very decision is from the Lord. So, as we just read the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, think about those words in there and the, pro the different Proverbs that will give you insight and wisdom for that day, right? And so I hope that that you see, you will see that God is going to bless you and he's going to bring some of these to, to remembrance when you need them. All right. Well, God bless you guys and we'll see you next time.